This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. How's it going, guys? My name is Julian Rosales, and I'm here to tell you guys, um, you know, a story that's it's actually been going on um, quite lately here at my workplace. It's 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 been going on for a long time now, but now that I, I'm starting to see it, I'm a little freaked out. I don't know if you guys can hear the cashiers actually, you know, checking um, all the items out for the customers and whatnot. Um, that's because I work in a, in a supermarket um, here in my town. And we've had some pretty, pretty strange things happen in the supermarket. And when I say strange, I mean extremely, extremely strange things. Um, so the story that, you know, the story that I actually had to live myself was actually something pretty, um, you know, when when I first saw it, I could not believe it. It, it was just crazy. And, and I went home, I told my wife about it, and she could not believe me until we checked the cameras. And then, um, because I asked the managers if they could check the cameras the day afterwards, if it was just me going insane, and, I've had, and if I had to go to, you know, like, maybe like a, a, a clinic or something to check my eyes or something. But whatever it is that I saw was actually recorded in the cameras. And when the crew members of this supermarket saw what I had seen, I'm telling you, at least two people quit their jobs. There, two these people quit their jobs, and they were saying it was the devil that was doing it here. So, um, it's a short story, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys. Um, here in the supermarket, this is like a huge supermarket. It's, and when I say huge, I mean it's like kind of like Walmart, but it's a different brand. You can you can compare it to Costco or whatnot. I'm, I'm not too sure if I can share the details of exactly what supermarket it is. Because, you know, just I, I don't really know if that's um, allowed. But anyways, I just want to I just want to tell you guys a story. I uh, it happens. I, I'm in the grocery department, which pretty much means that I have to, you know, make sure that all the, the you know items are stacked properly. Everything is up to date or, and things like those. So I'm constantly having to go to the back, getting the merchandise and coming back here to, you know, um, just put the items in the shelves and whatnot. Um, and one time I had went to the back. But uh, I don't know how exactly it is that it happened. Um, I go into the back right when I open the back door. The first she is like a uh, oatmeal box literally fly off one side of the room to the other side. And it just it just flew off literally from the table it was because we get the merchandise and they put it on these like, you know, on the regular um, paddles or crates that they come in and that oatmeal box, it was kind of one of those, um, you know, oatmeal box, not the, the, the big, you know, cylinder looking, um, casing that they, they do know with one of those boxes. Um, it's not that heavy, but it's not something that wind can easily just move around. Like it's nothing. No, it's not possible. The door was open. So for a second, I, I, maybe I just thought, okay, maybe what happened was, you know, the wind, but then, you know, I check another, you know, oatmeal that weights about the same, and I'm just like, there's no way wind can move this. So when that happened, and, um, you know, the next day that I came to work, I didn't want to tell anybody because I thought, you know, the first thing that they would tell me is like, oh, man, you're crazy or something like that. I didn't want to tell anybody, so I went home. I told my wife, and she told me, I mean, I, I just need to see it in order to believe because that's something that, you know, doesn't happen often or doesn't happen to any, didn't happen to anybody I know throughout my whole life. And honestly, it hasn't happened to anyone I know throughout my whole life. So I would probably, if somebody tells me that, I would probably not believe them until that day. Um, so we get back here. We're sharing the, 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 um, I'm, I'm sharing, you know, the details of what with the manager of the store. And he says, man, you have to be the biggest liar in life or you just have to, you know, you just happen to be in the right camera to catch like kind of a paranormal experience. And I tell him, well, I'm telling you now, I caught a paranormal experience with these eyes and you might want to check the cameras in the back to see if what I saw is actually, you know, some paranormal. So he said, you want to know what? He sat down with me. We checked them. We went through the cameras, which is actually not allowed if something, you know, with the customers happened, but he was just so intrigued about it. Um, that he just wanted to see if it was true. We checked the cameras, and he sees that box of oatmeal just flying around. And this guy goes nuts. He's telling me, like, oh, my God, you know, like, 
how does that happen? How does that happen? And then he, he kind of brings all the people on the second floor where, you know, the whole, um, the, the whole, you know, staff that doesn't really work out here in the, in the aisles are. And he's like, yo, check this out, check this out. Look at what this guy saw yesterday. Look at what, I thought he was lying, but look at it. And people are just going insane. The two people start crying. They start like, you know, um, you know, praying to the Lord or something for like help or the, thinking it's, it's like the devil playing, you know, tricks and whatnot. And up to this day, we do not have any sort of, you know, explanation of what had happened that night. Um, by the way, that was around like maybe like 11 at night. It was around 11. We were, you know, getting, because around, the store's not closed, but around 10, we closed at 12. So around 10, we start um, putting the merchandise that needs to, you know, be in the uh, their corresponding, you know, places. And it was just insane. It was just crazy how that happened. And like I said, two people quit their jobs because they said they couldn't just they just couldn't be here. You know what I mean, it could be used as a good excuse as well to leave the, the, your workplace. But I mean, people who really need you know the money and you know have responsibilities and everything, they really quit the job because of their religious you know beliefs and saying that maybe there was something you know like really strong force um, here in in this market. Um, and then the owner that um, the owner three days later, the owner happens to be here, and then the manager kind of shares the story but doesn't show him the video. And the owner says, you know, I don't even have to see the video in order to believe you, because here in um, in in this supermarket, it's you know ever since I've owned this, even the lot and um, you know, you know the whole the franchise itself, since I wanted to start the franchise, the workers that used to do the construction and the remodeling here to turn it into a supermarket and all the customers, like the, the the aisles and everything, they would have to stay here overnight. And back then, the, the lights weren't fully installed. So there was only a few lights. And they said um, that they would hear, you know, people screaming in the back um, and then, like, running. They felt like it, as if someone was running towards them so, you know, that's a pretty interesting story. Up to now, you know, I'm, I've always been a person who, you know, believes in all those things. But to this day, I have no explanation of what happened that time. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys, you know, um, enjoyed my story, my life story when it comes to ghosts and everything. Um, I'm a super fan of the show. Keep up the good work, and let's hear some more stories. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.